LG 55 LW 6500 plug it to the power you can see the red light red light is on so push the power button you can see it is white now all the other buttons turns on there is no backlight no display no backlight nothing Look from this hole. Yeah, no backlight. So TV turns on. We have no backlight. So the TV is still on. No backlight. Yeah, let's. Yeah, we we'll put the multimeter in the DC. You can see it over there. We we'll put this one in the ground. Anywhere in the metal. TV. We can see the optical is on. So basically, we should have all the voltage that's uh, that's we need for the TV to turn on. We have 24 volt. Now this is 25. You can see it. It's here. We need to find this 24 volt, this 3.5 volt, this 12 volt. So 25 is there and <coughs> 3.5 is there and it's stable and we have 12 volt is there so basically we have all the voltage from the, the power board so we're going to check another Voltage is very important for our uh, diagnostic. Is the voltage of the LVDS. The voltage to turn the screen on, not the backlight. It should be here. So you can see a big pins here together. Like this one here is together and this one here. This is the ground. This is the 12 volt. So here we should find 12 volt. Nothing. So basically, it's not just a backlight issue here. The main board is not sending the signal to turn on the, the screen. To turn on the pixels on the screen. And it's not sending the signal to turn on the backlight. So it's not the backlight issue. We have a main board issue. It's a common issue for this 3D model. If you don't have the backlight, check for that 12 volt for the screen if you don't have it is the problem is here and you can check it here if you if you are not sure where to check in this LVDS cable you can check this uh, cover here there is a big fuse check in that fuse if there is a 12 volt so yeah this main board is need to be reflowed so I'm gonna reflow it and see if that's gonna fix the problem This LG it has the same motherboard as the one we need. Let me plug it to the power. And it has the same problem. So I'm gonna reflow this motherboard and see if it's gonna. So you can see it turns on. No backlight, no display. So let me reflow the the board, show you how we reflow it, then we test it. This is a motherboard and it's a 47 inch TV, but it will work for the, the other sizes. So I just remove the heatsink and I'm gonna reflow the heat. Let's put some flux. So for like two minutes till we start seeing the the flux 
start uh, bubbling. Yeah, you keep moving. So. It's very important to keep moving the, uh, the heat gone. About like one minute. So yeah, it should be ready now. So I plug the TV to the power and we have the red light. So let's push the power button. See if we have the screen, we have the LG logo. Yeah, we have the picture. This looks good. So I'm going to take this board and put it in the other TV and they, we see if that's going to fix uh, the other problem. This board is cost about uh, over 250-260 and most of them you just use it and been uh, reflowed before. So there is no difference between this board and the board that uh, we're going to pay 250-260. So let's try that and see if we can save uh, any money for the customer and we'll go from there. This board is... It's a little bit different because it doesn't have this chip here. But let's see if we, this board going to fix this problem. So yeah, I done uh, pulling the board. You can see here the backlight is on. And we have the display, the data on the screen. And let me show you the voltage that I said to check. To be sure that there is uh, the screen is getting the right voltage or not. It's this one here. This one here. So now we have 12 volt. That's the voltage for the screen. So let's we'll check the, the sound. So we'll get a sound and the picture is on the screen. So this is all for this video and see you next one.